my concern is that we are not represented, that we're not being seen, that the proper images are not being presented. S simply that. George Stanford Brown, director-actor who starred in The Rookies, remembers a time when many blacks played lead dramatic roles. The detective in Tenafly, the surgeon in Peyton Place, the legal aid in Ironside, the electronics expert in Mission Impossible, the teacher and counselor in Room 222. We are much more advanced in our, in our society than we are on television at this particular time. I don't know why, uh, because uh, at one time uh, there was much more of a representation of that. Uh, on television, uh, but right after Roots, it, seems to, it seemed to have dropped lower than it had been in, tele in 10 years. Lou Gossett, who won an Emmy for his role as Fiddler in Roots, went on to a lead film part in The Deep and more dramatic television roles. He'll soon co-star in NBC's The Powers of Matthew Starr, but his ABC series Lazarus Syndrome was just one of last year's many canceled shows starring blacks. At ABC, there were two other casualties of low ratings, One in a Million and Ten Speed and Brown Shoe with Ben Vereen. We were pushed we were put on a time schedule that was impossible. You know, they, they didn't give us the chance. They didn't, and they were coming around and saying, well, we like the show. We really like the show, but, gee, guys, it's just ain't getting the numbers, you know. <laughs> you know. It's not getting the numbers. You're not giving it the push. If you care for the show, if you want the show to work, then the networks are going to support the show. They can make a show work. There's a, such a thing as telling the public what they want if you believe in the project. Even the formidable talents of Alex Haley and Norman Lear couldn't keep Palmerstown USA on the air. Another CBS casualty was Paris. Captain Paris, please. White Shadow and checking in. You'll have to reschedule the maids. Lal, if you're going to do things like this, I wish you'd give me a little more notice. Oh, Florence, you're an executive now, and you know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, quit. <laughs> In checking in, Marla Gibbs' Florence left the Jeffersons to run a hotel. I think she's struggling too fast. <laughs> I think uh, somehow the transition never happened from the maid, and we couldn't get it together in the material. From the maid in the household to an executive, there has to be a transition and some steps taken, and it has to be seen by the public. Oh, it didn't bother you this morning when George wrote, Welcome on your toast, and put it outside the door? <laughs> now, he was all in good fun. <laughs> so Florence went back to the Jeffersons. What you laughing at? <laughs> That's the door, Florence. And those are your toes. <laughs> if you stand up on them, you can reach the door now. I'm the champion of the underdog. The person who is the mass worker, who can't talk back to his boss because he's afraid he might lose his job. Well, they talk back through me. Just give me coffee, please. On soap, Benson, played by Robert Guillaume, also has the upper hand. <laughs> this time in a white household. Nobody ate any eggs. Mm. Benson, perhaps on your day off, you'd like to take them home. <laughs> Oh, I sure like that, Miss Dick. We just love three-day-old eggs Benedict got in the ghetto. The little children can use them for a hockey puck. Like Florence, Benson moves from the kitchen to his own series. But he first spends a year running the governor's household affairs. So his transition to budget director is smooth. I wish my mother were here to see me. She would be proud of me. <laughs> if this don't beat all this, is this dead, this thing. I don't care if they are maids or budget directors or whatever. As long as we have the alternative images being presented, and that is what's wrong. We do not see the other side. We only see those basic uh, images coming back at us. It's not only damaging to the uh, actors, it's damaging to the black people, and it's damaging to the nation. America's looking bad. If someone came from a country that knew nothing about integration of blacks or the, or the whole racial equality of this country, and they tried to find out what it was about from television, they would get a, a, a misrepresentation of what we really are. We are much more advanced in our, in our society. For, for our children, they must have something to relate to. They can't relate to anything on TV. We want to deal with human subjects uh -huh. because we are a people of human substance. 
and of great pride and dignity. And these are the qualities that we want to bring to the screen. Eventually, we're going to have to come to terms that we have to do for ourselves. I mean, we've been toying with that and playing with that for years, and it has never really become a reality. It's going to have to become a reality. You know, Rona, basically what I heard over and over again is that no one objects to what's on television. It's what we're not seeing on television that's the problem. If Archie Bunker were the only white man on television, the entire white community would be up in arms. There's nothing wrong with George Jefferson. There's just something wrong with only George Jefferson. That's the problem. I, I know what you're talking about, Carolyn, but when we began this report, Benjamin Hooks advocated a boycott of the film industry if the image of blacks was not changed in the motion picture industry. How do you feel about a boycott on television? Do you think it's going to work? I understand that black leaders and black actors and actresses are talking with network executives and, and motion picture executives even as we talk. I wish them luck and I hope there are changes. But if there aren't, then we've all learned that economic power is the only real power that we have. And so I'll have to support a boycott, and so will most of the black community and those who support us. Carolyn, we thank you again for tonight's report. Now please stay with us on this weekend before Christmas, because coming up, we have a look at a very warm and unusual holiday celebration.